at Dewey's place. As you can see also, the hollow blocks are now half a hollow block was put on the top to bring it in line with the top of where the ring beam will go right around the property. Not quite sure why they're deciding to backfill at this point because there doesn't appear to be any connection between the outside and the middle which is a bit unusual but nevertheless that's their decision and they're now backfilling the area. Maybe they're just going to have a ring beam and connect across the whole area with uh, this um, what I would call river sand. It's got quite large boulders in it, very um, crumbly but it packs down very well. It's going to be the formation underneath the floor of the ground area. They've had a few loads here. It looks like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loads. That's quite a lot. And they obviously have to pack that down, spread it out. Uh, it doesn't look like a show today because I saw Renren Ren working somewhere else today. But Dewey is here. And Dewey, you're not going to put a ring beam here? Yeah. Well, I got a bit sidelined there. I was talking to Dewey about the construction cost and the basic overall cost of building this house. In the end, he said that they are anticipating spending 4 million pesos in total to build the property. They bought the, the land from from the neighbor's uh, sister for 300,000, which is very, very cheap. 300,000 pesos. And uh, normally speaking, the big house that you saw earlier is sitting on a piece of agricultural land also. And they spent 500,000, which again is very cheap for a piece of land today. But the story about this is Dewey is building this home for his son-in-law and his daughter who stays with them at the moment and the son-in-law is working overseas on a ship so he's able to send back quite large sums of money but by the time they have finished the ground floor level which nobody will live in straight away but he estimates the budget will have spent about 1.1 million pesos to get the downstairs ready for the next level to be constructed so that gives you a fairly good idea as to how the costs will work out and uh, no doubt we'll keep you informed. But next week is the, the week of the 14 bottles sitting on the wall, courtesy of a very kind subscriber who's sent them both, that's uh, Dewey, the owner, the father, and Renren, Ren, the worker, here in the Philippines are going to have 14 bottles to share between them for a sort of celebratory opportunity. Now these loads of what they call river soil cost, uh, there's eight, uh, eight loads and each load is 700 pesos. That's the loads of gravel that will backfill the area. So we've got seven eighths of 56, 5,600 pesos for what you see there that Dewey will now spread around. He was telling me that between the outer wall where the ring beam will be going, he's going to just put a tie beam across, which will be sitting and formed on top of the uh, base course, we'll call it, the fill. And so that will create the crisscross, which is engineering wise is makes more sense because otherwise you have to trench everything out and then another line of hollow blocks around the edge. So that's how it's going to be. He's going to fill it up, bring it up, leave a small area, a trench where the link between the pillars will continue as a fly beam. It, in other words, it will hang above the ground but it will actually rest on the 
compacted ground. But that will tie the whole construction together. So that's what's going to happen and we'll keep up with what's going on. It's rather interesting that so many of the Filipino homes have like a cross for good luck to bless the property. So I hope if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and come on, subscribe. We're doing our best. You have a great day. Bye now.